December the 1st, 2012. Ground temperature is two degrees Celsius. The looks of deep concentration are in anticipation of the important European premiere in preparation at the Istre Air Base. The Neuron, an unmanned combat aircraft similar in size to a Rafale, is ready for its initial flight over the Mediterranean sky. But let's go back in time. The Neuron project began in 2003 when France proposed a European UCAV technology demonstrator. Neuron is more than a new aircraft design. Is it the forerunner of an unmanned combat aircraft controlled from the ground? Or even of a fighter aircraft? Thanks to Neuron, new technologies can be explored, enabling operational development for decades to come. It all starts when France and five other countries decide to cooperate on this innovative project. Sweden, Italy, Spain, Greece and Switzerland. The adventure becomes European. In 2005, companies from participating countries sign on. There is a total budget of 405 million euros and a common philosophy, best value for money. Although Dassault remains in control, digital tools are shared and opened up to partners throughout Europe. the first designs begin to take shape. In 2007, the first models are tested in wind tunnels. 2011, at Dassault Aviation in Istre, assembly of the neuron is quietly underway. Aluminium for the structure and composite material for the aircraft's skin. All the European partners are busy working on the aircraft. The Adour motor is hoisted into the airframe. Guided by technicians, the exhaust nozzle is connected to the rear fuselage. Each element of this complex puzzle is positioned to the nearest millimeter. Autumn 2011. Tests continue week after week. Each one validating the concepts devised by the design offices. December the 21st, 2011. Neuron leaves the hangar for the first time. The first run-up. Its coating is a key factor of neurons' effectiveness. But its shape is what determines its low radar signature, a must for combat drones. Seeing without being seen, hitting a target without being spotted, striking before the enemy reaction. Qualities summed up in one word, stealth. 
July 2012, the first high-speed taxi run. Neuron's appearance as a newcomer to Easter's runways creates a new challenge, inserting an unmanned vehicle into already dense air traffic. Each phase is remotely programmed and controlled. A system of data links connects the ground station to the aircraft. During intensive high-speed taxiings, dozens of continuous accelerations and brakings are carried out, calling even for brake cooling phases. And all this continues until nightfall. The big day has arrived. For this first unmanned flight, concentration in the monitoring rooms is at its highest. But it's November, and the weather is uncertain. The first window arrives within 48 hours. This first flight lasts 25 minutes, under the direction of Neuron's test engineer and all of Eastra's specialists. Since 1958, this site has seen the maiden flight of more than a hundred Dassault civil and military aircraft. But for everyone here, this day is a special one. For the first time, there is no test pilot in the cockpit. Neuron is not flown remotely though. As soon as the engine starts, onboard computers execute the mission. All flight parameters, the speed, the altitude, the trajectory, as well as the return flight, are already programmed. From the ground station, the test pilot's role is to authorize or modify each step of the mission should the need arise. The control tower gives the green light. Neuron accelerates down the runway and takes to the air for the first time. During this flight, 200,000 parameters per second are collected for analysis. An intensive two-year program now awaits Neuron. One that includes a progressive opening of the flight envelope, radar signature measurements, detection of ground targets, and weapon release from the internal bay. But right now, Neuron is on its final approach. On this symbolic day, everything has gone as scheduled. The success of this maiden flight is a major milestone for the engineers and technicians from all six countries. For the last ten years, this industrial partnership has combined technological excellence and budgetary efficiency. The Neuron adventure continues, but this true flying lab has already demonstrated an innovative cooperation method in which each partner contributes what it does best. In a few years, if the political will is there, future combat air systems stemming from the Neuron Adventure will become part of Europe's defense. <laughs>